Hello! Welcome to the Legend of Genji YouTube channel. My name is Mackie, and I'm the team lead for the Legend of Genji. We're super excited that over the last few weeks, we've gotten a ton of new fans and followers, so hi! This video is an opportunity for us to welcome the newcomers and explain some story elements, while also answering some frequently asked questions. Let's learn more about Genji, where it came from, what's going on, by going way back. On February 21st, 2005, Nickelodeon aired the first episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, a cartoon that would go on to reshape the American animation industry and capture the hearts and imaginations of audiences all around the world. Avatar Inc. story ended in 2007, but the franchise continued with a new Avatar named Korra in 2012. Both series challenged previous assumptions about the content young audiences want, as well as the marketability of animation to teens and adults. At the time, the original creators, Brian Konietzko and Michael Dante DiMartino, they really pushed the limits of what mainstream kids' television was supposed to look like. They challenged young viewers to consider complex themes like repression and egalitarianism, theocracy, fascism, and the pros and cons of capitalist-driven industrialization and globalization. Both series clearly demonstrate that animation can be a valuable storytelling medium for audiences of all ages, not just kids. They also show that you can create narratives with multiple layers, allowing people of different ages to enjoy the story in different ways. Avatar fuses the fun and artistic expression of animation with the complexity, diversity and emotional depth of real life. Everyone can find something meaningful in it. And we're seeing other TV series catch on to this idea too. Meanwhile, the never-ending reincarnation cycle of this Avatar character allows fans to continue exploring this world space and write their own next chapter of the story. Avatar has a fantastic universe, and fans are still enjoying it through art, fanfiction writing, and fan comics. And it's in that context that The Legend of Genji was born. So what exactly, then, is The Legend of Genji? It's a fan-based volunteer project that aims to tell the story of a new avatar in a web-based comic format. We're not at all affiliated with Nickelodeon, Viacom, or Brian and Mike, and we're not doing this for any profit. What we want to do, through our own story, is bring the original series to new fans and to create new content for longtime fans of the old series. Our comic takes place 17 years after the death of Avatar Card who at age 39 sacrificed herself to protect the citizens of Bessensee from a terrorist attack involving the detonation of a catastrophic spirit bomb. The world feared that Korra died in the Avatar state, but thankfully the Avatar cycle does continue and our protagonist, the next Earth Avatar, Genji, is born. Growing up in the isolated stretches of the Siwon Desert, Genji is unfortunately not found by the White Lotus as a child. Global unrest, panic and looming war led certain individuals to take matters into their own hands and creating their own perfect avatar. After careful plotting and deliberation, a charming boy from Gaoling is chosen. Six-year-old Luan fills the void that Avatar Carl left behind and he brings hope to the heartbroken world. For the first time in history, the avatar's growth and progress is captured on television resulting in celebrity-like news coverage and global adoration. If you're wondering how on earth this fake avatar plan was designed and how it could have possibly fooled millions of people, you just have to read the comic to find out. When The Legend of Korra ended, I was a freshman in college. Random doodles from class turned into character design ideas, turned into characters, turned into a story, and then I was doomed because I fell in love with it. Posted some stuff on Tumblr, people liked it, people reacted to it, and suddenly there's this really cool fan rapport going on that was kind of lifting the story in new directions. I tried to make a fan comic on my own, but um... It's a lot of work. Basically, I asked people on Tumblr if they wanted to join a team and make a comic with me. And then some people said, yeah. It's really, really amazing to have team members from all over the world because they all bring unique perspectives, ideas, and we're learning from each other and have this collective ambition and passion and joy and just fun. The internet is amazing. The time period of our story roughly relates to the technological and sociological developments of the 60s, 70s in our world. 
So you can expect a lot of pop culture references in clothing, comics, technology, music, and political events. I chose the name Genji for a couple of reasons. I studied Japanese formally in school for seven and a half years. When you've studied Japanese forever, you run into some really beautiful names and really wanted the meaning of his name to match his character and his story. Came across the name Genji, looked at the characters, realized that one reading is two beginnings, two alleged avatars, two beginnings. And also, total sidebar, but I read all of Genji Monogatari, and you know, if people looking for our comic happen to stumble upon this influential, beautiful, incredible piece of Japanese ancient literature, fine by me. Or you know, Overwatch memes. Though I actually do play Overwatch now and it's really really fun, so I get it. The comic will be released online this summer. In the meantime, take a look at our prologue, which is on our YouTube page. Thank you guys so much for watching! And make sure that you follow us on all of our social media channels for the latest and greatest artwork by the art team, as well as other updates on the project. You should subscribe to see more cool Genji content!